Hello guys and welcome to Rob's Arcade. I am your host, Robert French, and this is a very special episode of Rob's Arcade for a couple of reasons. One, this is the actual first live action episode of Rob's Arcade. Uh, typically in the past I've kept my uh, video gameplay videos and my one-on-one -on -one videos with you guys separate uh, but just recently I decided to merge them into one format that I'm calling Rob's Arcade and this is the first actual one-on-one -on -one with you guys that I'm having here in Rob's Arcade. Now the second reason this is a special episode is because I'm going to be talking to you guys about a movie coming up that I'm very excited about and that may very well become part of one of my all-time favorite trilogies of the past, present, and future. So with no more delay, let's just go ahead and jump right into this, shall we? Now, about a week ago, my wife texted me and informed me that the teaser trailer for Bill & Ted 3, Bill & Ted Face the Music, had just released, and I about hit the floor. Now, for some of you guys, this might not seem like a very big deal, but I was born in 1980, grew up in the 90s, and Bill and Ted were a very, very big part of my early teenage childhood years. Well, they were kind of big in general. Uh, you have to understand that like back in 1992, these guys were just as popular as the Ninja Turtles or anything else. They weren't just a movie. They had their very own television series, their very own animated series, as well as a comic book and a video game. Now, the animated series, believe it or not, Keanu Reeves, Ted, Theodore, Logan, and Alex Winter, Bill S. Preston, Esquire, nailed it, excellent, as well as George Carlin, Rufus, all returned to reprise their roles as the voice, uh, as the, for the voices of the, the characters on the show. The live-action series was very short-lived. I don't think it even lasted a whole season. And that was performed by, actually I'm like, I got some stuff written down because I don't want to mess any of this stuff here. Um, by Evan Richards played Bill. Christopher Kennedy played Ted. And they also provided the voice, uh, the voices for the characters on the animated series, I believe, in the second season of the animated series. Um, so anyway, you can pretty much imagine when I was like 11 years old and I found out they were doing a second Bill and Ted, I was extremely, extremely excited. Um, now I was expecting more time traveling antics, I guess, from these two, you know, nitwit rock and rollers, but instead we found ourselves exploring the afterlife with Bill and Ted and teaming up with death and Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Now. Not only was I excited because I loved Bill and Ted and I was like, you know, excited to get more Bill and Ted, but you just weren't guaranteed sequels back in the day. Like today, everything has a sequel, but there was no Goonies 2, Monster Squad didn't have a sequel. And I could almost guarantee that if these movies were released, like Batteries Not Included, today, there would be a million of them already. Um, now, also, um, joining the cast in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey was William Sadler playing Death, and he was an amazing addition to this already funny duo. Um, also wound up being an amazing bass player for the Wild Stallions as, as well. Um, and I found myself again leaving the movie theater wanting more Bill and Ted and also now wanting to see more death play a role in these ongoing stories. Um, but again, I didn't expect a sequel because it's just something that wasn't a given back in the 1980s and the 1990s. And they also kind of wrapped up their story very well by doing this montage of future magazine articles and you know, uh, magazine covers depicting and showing what was going to happen with Bill and Ted in the future. 
So you kind of left the theater with this sense of closure, not really having to see what happens to Bill and Ted. But then surprisingly, about 10 years ago, there started this buzz that Bill and Ted would be returning for a third movie. And my first thought was, no way. Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves are way too old to make a comeback. But the more I thought about it, the more excited I got because Keanu Reeves just, he can do no wrong. I mean, the guy has already done an amazing job with the Matrix trilogy, say what you will, as well as John Wick and you know, countless other movies. So I just feel like if Keanu Reeves is attached to this third film, he'll just bring his energy and his tr that, that power that he has. And I've got a feeling that this is gonna be a most triumphant trilogy after all. Now, it seems like Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter are just a few of the members returning from the original cast. We also have, again, William Sadler returning as Death, which is, I want to say exciting, but if Death returns, I don't know if that's going to be such a great outcome. We also have uh, Hal Jordan London, Logan's father, Captain Logan, making a return. Um, but once again, it looks like the princesses... Um, are going to be recast um, for I guess the third time now. Uh, <clears throat> we'll have, it looks like Erin Hayes playing Princess Elizabeth and we all know her from Parks and Rec and I loved her in The Watch as well as uh, Jama Mays playing Princess Joanne who I remember as that cute little waitress from Heroes, I think it was like season one. Anyway, she was awesome. Um, also joining the story and the cast is going to be their daughters. Uh, Samantha, or Samara Weaving will be playing Thea Preston. We all know her from The Babysitter. And Bridget Lundy Payne, who's also a fairly newcomer, will be playing Billy Logan. Um, we've seen a lot from these two in the last five years, but they're still fairly new to this whole, you know, to the, to the movie game. Um, and I'm excited to see how they will tie into the story. I'm sure they'll be pretty important characters and I love that uh, they named their daughters after each other. We got Thea Preston and Billy Logan. Now sadly George Carlin passing won't be returning as Rufus which is pretty sad but they could do something fun bringing Pam Greer back who played Mrs. Woodrow or Miss Woodrow in the second film who turned out to be Rufus in disguise all along which I think would be super fun and it just makes sense because I feel like Rufus, if he had his choice, would want to live out his existence in Pam Greer's body. I don't know. I feel like George Carlin probably would too. Anyway, uh, enough rambling on about this uh, franchise that we now have a third movie coming up in. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my reaction to the trailer. I went ahead and I filmed it last week. I'm not going to show you the actual trailer but I am going to show you my reaction and then I'll come back and talk to you guys a little bit more. So here we go. Hope you enjoy me enjoying it. All right, my wife just texted me and informed me that the new Bill and Ted trailer is out, for Bill and Ted part three. I've only been waiting about 30 years for this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out film my reaction to this and um, hopefully this will not totally suck. All right, here we go. Bill and Ted face the music. Twenty-five years ago, you played a concert in front of the entire world. One month ago, you played in Barso, California for 40 people, most of whom were there for $2 taco night. Bill and Ted, what have you got to say for oh yourselves? Oh my God, they're so old. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. <laughs> you were supposed to unite the world and save reality as we know it. We've spent our whole life trying to write the song that will reunite the world. Why can't we just go to the future when we have written it? Whoa! Take it from ourselves! But isn't that stealing? How is that stealing? We're stealing it from ourselves, dude. Oh, death is back! Oh my 
god, is that? How'd you like our song? Oh my god. Does that look most triumphant or what? Pretty much everything I was expecting to see uh, from the teaser trailer from Bill and Ted. Again, my first reaction was just, gosh, these guys are old, which makes me realize that I'm 40 and I'm getting old, which is a little bogus. But at the same time, the story looks like it's going to be super fun, super epic, and I really can't wait to see more as you know we get closer to the release date, which looks like it's going to be happening in mid-August of this year. Uh, now again, um, you know, we got the daughters in there, which I'm sure are going to play a huge part in the story. It's always about the kids. The kids always wind up coming into the story at some point, especially as these characters get older. Um, a little bit concerned about their attempt to steal their music from themselves in the future, because it looks like the events in this movie are not going the way that the future has been written for them. And I feel like if they try to go into the future, they're going into a future that isn't going to be on that same timeline as the same future as where they unify the whole world. So I have a feeling them going to the prison and bumping into themselves is going to be a plan that's going to backfire. And I'm a little weary. I'm excited to see Death in the movie, but I'm a little worried about his appearance as well because if Death is involved, things might be a little grim if you will uh but then again this could just be maybe his return to the band and their triumphant return uh, i believe that was one of the articles you can see at the end in the montage of the second movie uh, which might be a good idea to kind of go back and look at some of those and see if they do hit any of those little moments in the third film that we see at the end of the second film and those little highlights from the magazine and newspaper articles and covers and whatnot uh again i'm you know really excited we're talking about uh you know something that's 30 years kind of in the waiting that you know it's like i didn't even know that i, I wanted uh, it's been a lot of buzz for the last 10 years and we're finally getting the teaser trailer it's just been kind of hung up in limbo as well as a lot of other things like uh, they've talked about uh, beatles follow-up and that's been kind of hanging in the air and um, you know, they had a hard time getting a original cast Ghostbusters back for a third film. So again, I wasn't even sure if this was something that was going to happen. I know there was a lot of talk about it. Extremely happy to see that we finally got some footage. And again, you know, I'm just looking forward to seeing more as we get closer to the release date, see a little bit more about the story. But what a super fun teaser. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go watch the first two movies now. Uh, just it's bringing back a lot of memories anyway um, hope you guys have enjoyed me uh, talking about one of my favorite films from the 90s and my reaction to the new trailer and again thanks for hanging out in Rob's Arcade where you're always welcome until next time don't spend your quarter anywhere else and always be excellent to each other station